<clears throat> Ready? Let's do this. <sighs> Dan? Uh, oh, I was going to do like oh. a teleport. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Akihabara, where the Japanese beer industry recently started doing targeted ads, and so far all I've gotten are commercials giving me the middle finger. I'm Casey. <laughs> and I'm Eric. Uh, today we're returning to Kanazawa for the Kanazawa Hyakuman Goku Beer Dark Ale, which is much easier to say in English than it is in Japanese. The last of the three... Kakamon Goku beers. Right, the last of the three standard beers. We may revisit this brewery again in bottle form because there are other beers that have the same name but have fancier labels. So we're very curious about that. And so far, nothing has been bad. <laughs> so far, nothing has been bad. Um, yeah, so we did actually did a Japanese episode on this. So if you are a Japanese speaker, you can check that out up here. Um, we're not going to spend a lot of time on the brewery or any time on the brewery. So I want to drink this beer. I want to drink this beer. I want to get this done. So this is made by... Um, See if I can remember. Waku Waku Tezukuri Farm Kawakita. Yes. Oh man, nice. Um, and because they're a farm, they grow their own stuff, including their own barley. Their own so, barley. They use their own rice in the Koshikari ale. Yeah, yeah. So they use a lot of their own stuff. I don't know about hops. I don't remember seeing that on there. And there's so I, few Japanese. Yeah, I think hops hop. are a bit harder to find in Japan anyway. So, um, so yeah, this is obviously going to be a, uh, a darker malt that they're using. Oh, thank you, sir. No problem. We only have one can of this. Um, and we have to share some with Dan, who's off camera, so we're going to go pretty light on the pour. Thank you. You're welcome. It is interesting to see the difference in the head, like, just, I think it's just the glass shape. Like, this one looks a little bit yeah, creamier and foamier. Yeah, difference. Definitely does. Kind of interesting. Dan's already drank his. Spoilers, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, with that said... Uh, yeah, the Kanazawa beer, Hyakuman Goku... Oh, fuck. Kanazawa Hyakuman Goku beer, Dark Ale. Oh, Kanpai. Go Dan, by. Cheers. Oh, it's really dark, really malty. Almost, I can, I could almost pick up a hint of stoutiness to it or mm. something like that. But yeah, it is a bit lighter, a, a bit more. You can see through it a bit easier, um, though it is still pretty dang dark. Yeah. Um, like a lot of um, uh, beers of this color, it's kind of like um, got a bitter chocolate taste to yeah. it. Yeah. A little bit of coffee. Not as scorched as, as some other um, darker malts tend no, to taste for me. It feels slightly better on, yeah, like slightly more towards the roasted and less to the, I don't know if charred is the right <laughs> less word. Less on the white phosphorus end of the, <laughs> end of the burning spectrum. Hmm. That said, at least for me, nothing, none of that's really coming out in the smell. Yeah, I remember this not having much of a smell. Yeah, there's not a whole lot yeah. there. Everything's contained in the taste, which I am perfectly okay with. It's very self-contained beer. Mm. Very efficient, environmentally sound. <laughs> it's a carbon sequestering beer. <laughs> <laughs> I think on the... Uh, so the three that we've had from these guys have been a pale ale, the Koshi Hikari ale, which is a rice ale, uh, much lighter, like a golden ale almost, and then this. Um, I still think of the three, the pale ale was, has been my favorite. Pale ale is the best, in Although my opinion. this too. is pr a pretty close second. Yeah. Um, I'm the same. All three of them were really good. Um, this is awfully tasty, but that pale ale just kind of opened my eyes and changed my world for a little bit there. Yeah. Um, this one is a pretty close second. The Koji Ikari ale is not bad either, but um, I think these two kind of far surpass it. Yeah, so that's our summary for Yakuman Goku beer canned versions. Yeah. Um, we should definitely look into getting those bottles. Where would you pick this up, by the way? I got this at an antenna shop for whatever prefecture this is uh, in Tokyo Station, or near Tokyo Station. What prefecture is this? Ishikawa. So, I got this at an Ishikawa can, the Ishikawa Prefecture antenna shop in the general Tokyo Station Ginza area where there's a lot of those kinds of shops. So they had all three varieties. Oh, wow. The cans. Okay. And I know I've seen one or two at, I believe, Eon Liquor before. So. There are a couple places you can pick it up anyway. Um, I believe they also have an online shop? They do. Okay. They do. There's that too. Anyway, we are uh, running out of beer. Thank you guys for your time. Uh, feel free <laughs> to like and subscribe if you have not done that already. You can also check out our last video up top and down below you can see our Twitter and the wonderful person and or people who made this music that you're listening to. Okay, and we're out of here. Bye. Bye.